Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Front Royal, Virginia. I'm Roland Sternfels. Welcome to this matchup between the Strasburg Express and your Front Royal Cardinals. Valley League Baseball is funded in part by a grant from Major League Baseball. The two organizations work together to help aspiring players realize their goals to play professional baseball while bringing fans a fun, friendly baseball experience. We'd like to thank Major League Baseball for their continued support. This is the Cardinals' home opener. We're about to introduce the lineups in just a second. And now let's meet the starting lineup for the visiting Strasburg Let's meet the starting lineup for the Strasburg Express. Batting first, number 48, playing left field from the University of Mississippi. Batting second from the University of New Orleans. Batting second from the University of New Orleans, number 46. Velasquez. Batting third from Miami Dade Community College, number 47, designated hitter, Jeremy Garcia. Batting fourth, number, number 42, the right fielder, Miles Curley. Batting fifth. From Texas A&M University, University, Corpus Christi, number 20, Rizdorf. Champ, Reisdorf. Batting, Batting sixth, from the University of Maryland, College Park, the University of Maryland first, baseman, number 19, first baseman, number 19, Carlo. Ren, Carlo. Carlo. Batting, seven. Batting seventh, from Westchester University, from Westchester third, University baseman, third baseman, number six, Drew, Drew Simpson. Simpson. Batting eighth, University, University of Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh junior, number shortstop, number 45, Lasala. Ben Lasala. Batting ninth, from, ninth College, from Morris College, number center fielder, number 11, Luke Rodriguez. Luke Rodriguez. And, on the mound for the and on the mound, number 22, number 22. Number 22. Luke, Luke Glover. Glover. And now for your now front, your front, front Royal Cardinals, Cardinals. Leading, off leading off from Seattle University, from the, Seattle third University the third baseman, number 11, Ryder Manali. Batting second, batting second from, from, from Holy, Holy Cross, Cross the shortstop, number 10, Jimmy King. Batting third from, from AMU, number 12, Brody Propel from Florida A&M. Batting cleanup from the University, batting cleanup from the University of North Carolina, Asheville, Asheville the first baseman, number 10, Ben Hemphill. Batting fifth from the University of Georgia, number 14, Cooper Milford. Batting sixth from Rutgers University, the designated hitter, number nine, Isaiah Pinky. Batting seventh from Shenandoah University, number four, Sam Barber. Batting eighth from George Washington University, second baseman, number 18, Nick Mullen. Batting ninth from the University of North Carolina, Asheville, the center fielder, number three, Delaney Powell. And on the mound for the Cardinals from Southern Wesleyan University, number two, Christopher Hahn. The Cardinals are head coached by Brian Worth. The Cardinals are head coached by Brian Worth. And Kari Anderson. And now would you all please rise and please remove your hats and veterans please salute as we honor our nation with the plane. Now it's time for the national anthem. anthem.
play some baseball. The officials for this evening's game on the bases, Mr. Ian Pennington, Mr. Steve Pennington, and behind home plate calling balls and strikes, Mr. Tim Detweiler. And now throwing out the first pitch this evening, let's welcome to the mound, Crazy Throwing out the first Willie pitch Proceed. is Crazy Willie, local fan favorite. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you out of town, we're going to introduce you to the Valley League. Valley League is a league from Northern Virginia featuring 12 teams, including your Front Royal Cardinals. Teams include the Front Royal Cardinals, Strasburg Stress, Covington Lumberjacks, Charlottesville Tom Sox. Uh, the Culpepper Cavaliers. The, the Harrisonburg Turks. The Newmarket Rebels. The Percival Cannons. The... Stanton Braves, the Strasburg Stress, who we are playing tonight, the Waynesboro Generals, the Winchester Royals, and the Woodstock River Bandits. Some things, unfortunately, we will not be able to give you this evening are miles per hour. As there is no radar gun up on the scoreboard, and I unfortunately don't have one of my own. Also, I believe there is a pitch clock. The umpires will relegate that themselves. We do not have a pitch clock on the scoreboard tonight. Leading off for the Express in the top half of the first from the University Coming in, leading off for the Express, fielder, left fielder, Connor number 48, Chisholm. Connor Chisholm. Chisholm steps in left-handed batter's box for righty-left favorable, righty-lefty matchup. Third baseman in on the grass, rest of the infield, base, playing straight up, and takes for a fastball middle for strike one. First pitch was at 7.01 Eastern time. Kicks and fires again, swung on, fouled back, and it will be 0-2. Hun, set, Hun settling in, <clears throat> the 0-2. Fires, swung on, driven right field. And it's caught by Cooper Milford. Crowd number one. Now batting from the University, batting of, New Orleans, from the University of New Orleans, Orleans second baseman Diego, number 46. Vasquez. Vasquez. Vasquez is a senior. Probably played, we don't know if he's played in the Valley League before. Maybe he steps into the right-hander batter's box, ready or any matchup. Swung on and missed, strike one. Glover trying to keep a low pitch count tonight as he's thrown four consecutive strikes. Comes again to the plate. Taken, curveball, caught the outside corner, called for strike two. Pace is moving fairly well. Batter's not taking much time out of the batter's box. In the 0-2. Taken, curveball inside, and it'll be 1 and 2. We have three umpires tonight. We have one behind first, one behind third. The 1 2 from Glover. Fastball away, taken, and it'll be 2 and 2. Correction, pitching is Huns, not Glover. Hun fires. Curveball away, taken, and the count runs full. 
Hunt pitching at a pretty fast pace. Not taking his time. And it'll come the payoff pitch. S swung on, strike three. It'll be out number two. First two retired for Hun, and he's looking comfortable. Now batting from Miami -Dade Stepping in from Miami-Dade Community Cot. Miami-Dade. Jimmy Garcia. Garcia steps in right-handed batter's box. Large frame towards the back, standing towards the back of the batter's box. First pitch take on the outside corner for ball one. You're in the top of the first. Two outs. Hun fires. Popped up. Right center. Milford is under. And that's, there goes the top of the first. So one, two, three for Hun. As he looks to keep a short outing. I'm over here on the first base side, and I'm with Jason. Keeps a good pitch count low. tonight's Shenandoah Valley Axe Throwing Contest contestant. So if you look out there in center field to the right, you'll see a bullseye. If any of the front row Cardinals hit that bullseye or a home run over it, Jason, five others will win an hour of free axe throwing. So let's wish him good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, the Valley Baseball League is funded in part by a grant from Major League Baseball. These two organizations work together to help aspiring players realize their goal to play professional baseball while bringing fans a fun-friendly baseball experience. We'd like to thank Major League Baseball for their continued support. Let's go through the defensive lineup for the Express. Playing first, Randy Carlo. Playing, playing second, Diego Velasquez. At third, Simpson. At short, Anthony Lasala. In left, Connor Chisholm. In the center, Luis Rodriguez. And then Curly will be in right. For the Cardinals, it'll be Ryder Manali, Jimmy King, and then Brody Popple. Brody has played... This will be Brody's third season with the Front Royal Cardinals. Wanted to come back multiple times. He is a, I believe, junior this year. Leading off for the Cardinals in the bottom half of the first from Seattle University, number 11, Ryder Manali. Manali steps in left-hander batter's box in towards the plates, righty-lefty matchup. On the mound is Glover. And Manali takes for ball one. Glover to the plate. Swung on and missed. Strike one, and the count is one and one. Glover to the plate, fouled back, and it'll be one and two. Lucas Glover, large frame, 6'5", 205, junior from High Point University in North Carolina. Glover, the one two. Popped up, behind home plate. Catcher looking, has room, makes the catch. Frout number one. Now batting, now batting 
From Holy Cross, the shortstop, number seven, Jimmy King. King steps into the right-handed batter's box. Glover fires the first pitch. Taking high fastball, strike one. Still scoreless here in the bottom of the first as the Cardinals look to get their first base runner. Brody Popples on deck. Glover, the 0-1. Curveball low and away in the dirt. Taken in OB 1-1. King takes a quick quick step out, right back in. Glover fires. Blooper above the second baseman. Diving. Makes the catch in right. It'll be Curly. Beautiful diving catch. Didn't know if he had room. Second baseman gave up on it. And he came in, and that'll be the second out. Now batting, now batting from FAMU, Brody Popple. Popple, fan favorite, as he's played two years here before. Apologies for the camera work. We had technical difficulties. Should be all squared away. The 0-1 to Popple. Swung on at the hands. Looped in the infield. Valesis charges. Fires over to first, and that'll be first inning. Fielded cleanly, caught cleanly. It'll be one, two, three for the Cardinals as well. Two up for the ex Express is Curly, Reisdorf, and Carl. And Stepping in for the Express in the top half of the second. From Central Florida, the right fielder number 42, Miles Curley. Curley steps in, righty righty matchup. Hun fires off speed in the zone, doesn't get the corner, and it's 1 0. Hun looking to hurry things up. Deals. Fastball, outside corner, taken for ball two. So two consecutive outside pitches, both called for balls. And the 2-0 from Hund, fires, line right field, and it'll be foul. And it's 2-1. and one. The 2-1 from Hun. Fastball. Fouled. Right side again. Out of play. And the count's 2-2. Two and two. 
Reisdorf, the catcher, is on deck. And Hun comes with the 2-2. Two -two. Fastball away taken and the, for ball three, and the count runs full. So, longer at-bats here for Hund in the second as he went three consecutive strikes to his first batter and not many to the second. Hund comes, the payoff pitch, fouled back into the screen, and we'll do it again. Great weather in Front Royal, probably give or take 68, 70 degrees. No, not a cloud in the sky. Great day for baseball. Hunt of the payoff again, thrown at his head, and he ducks. That would be ball four, and the Express have their first runner of the night. Stepping up from Texas A&M Corpus, Corpus Christi, number 20, Cham, Cham Reisdorf. So Curley reaches. Right fielder probably has some speed. Takes conservative lead. Hun now from the stretch. Goes to the plate. High fastball taken for ball one. Curley not looking too aggressive over at first base as there's no outs. You probably trust your five-hole hitter. Similar lead again for Reisdorf at first. Another fastball from Hun up. And it'll be 2-0. So Reisdorf, in a hitter's count, you would probably expect another fastball from Hun. Here it is. Fastball, middle, middle, back pick. Almost thrown away. Great save from the first baseman. Hemphill. Risky back pick from Brody to first base. Barely saved by Hemphill. That pitch was swung on and missed, and it's 2-1. and one. Hun looks, gets the sign, fires. Taken for strike two on the inside corner. Beautiful pitch from Christopher Hun from Southern Wesleyan University. Hun now in a 2-2, similar lead at first base by the runner. Hun kicks, fires, swung on and missed, high fastball. Strike three, and there's one down. So Hun gets another strikeout. Now stepping in the box for the Express from the University of Maryland, Coley Park, the first base number 19, Lane Carlo, the fourth. Ready, ready matchup for Carlo. Pitch, off speed outside corner, fouled back from Carlo. And it's 0-1. Still, still scoreless here in the top half of the second with one down. Hopefully getting a double play here from Hund as he goes to the plate again. Fastball, middle, middle, swung on and missed. Strike two. 0-2 oh, now. Hund looking to get Carlo to chase with nothing hopefully too easy for the runner to steal on with no pass ball. Hun fires over to first, picks off, and Curly goes in easy. I do not know if the pickoff rules apply from NCAA Division I. They may. The 0-2, Hun, now goes to the plate. Runner fake steal, high fastball, taken, and a little move from the runner on first. Fools no one. And we'll do it again. Over at first base. On even lead again. Christopher Hunt to the plate. Ground ball to second. Charging. No play at second. He'll go to first and he'll get it for out number two. So Jimmy King had a slow roller, charged it. Thought about going to second, went to first, got the sure out, and there'll be two down. Now from Westchester University. But now stepping in from Westchester University, the third baseman, number six, Drew Simpson. The ump seem to have some confusion deciding on who's going behind the mound. 
they'll stay. Decent lead from Curley at second. Fastball outside from Hund. Taken for ball one. No outside corner seeming to be given for right-handed hitters. And Hun look, checks the plate. Check second. Back to the plate, and he'll go throw the plate. Low, low and outside, fastball. Taken for ball two, and it's 2-0. and oh. Another hitter's count for the Express. Simpson. Likely sitting fastball. And Hun comes to the plate. Fastball. High. Middle. Taken. And it's 3-0. and oh. And Hun's dug himself into a 3-0, which may not be the worst thing if you walk someone, as there's an open base at first with two outs. We'll see what Hun does. Checks second. Checks the plate. Goes to the plate. Fastball in. Almost hit Simpson. He moves out of the way as there's just no reason to get hit on a 3-0. He'll take ball four, go to first. And it's runners on first and second with two outs. Now batting from the University of Pittsburgh, the shortstop, number 45, Anthony LaSala. LaSala, a junior from Pennsylvania, so stayed home to play at the University of Pittsburgh. So, currently on four first, on second, in the pitch. Hun goes to the plate, and it'll be 1-0. and oh. So, Curley on second, Simpson at first. So, you have a right fielder and a third baseman. So, probably some sp more speed on second than first. Infield playing normal depth. Hun go goes to the plate, and it'll be a fastball. Inside, caught the corner for strike one, and it's 1-1. One and one. Now to La Sala. Simpson at first, decent lead. Hun goes to the plate, back picks, Brody at first, back picks, got him. Got too big of a secondary over at first and Curley gets back picked for the third out at first base, which is something you never want to see. Third base coach, probably none too happy. As you leave two runners on, on a back pick to first base behind a runner in scoring position. And we'll go soon to the bottom of the second. I want to know what people did last at bat so I can say what they did last at bat. We don't have a scoreboard. Do up for the Cardinals in the bottom of the second. Ben Hemphill, the first baseman. Cooper Milford, the right fielder. And then Isaiah Pinky, the DH. So stepping in from the University of North Carolina Asheville, the first baseman, number 10, Ben Hemphill. Hemphill digs in for his first step out of the night. Righty, righty matchup. To the Glover to the plate. High fastball taken for ball one. And it's 1-0. and oh. Glover went one, two, three on the mound in the first. Goes to the plate. Fastball, middle, middle taken for strike two. And it's, excuse me, one and one. One and one, ground ball, third base fielded. Simpson, deep throw, fires over to first. Throw in time. And it's out number one. 
Cardinals still looking for the first base runner. Now stepping in from the University of Georgia, the right fielder, Cooper Milford. Glover to the plate, fastball away, caught the corner, strike one. And it's 0-1-1 with one out to Milford. Milford, one of two players in the Cardinals from the SEC. One of our, one of the bigger colleges. Milford, fastball away again, swung on, missed, strike two. Foul tipped, caught from the catcher. And it's 0-2 to Milford. After getting two fastballs, Glover comes to the plate. Fastball again, popped up infield. Carlo, right behind first, catches, and it's out number two. So stepping in now from Rutgers University, the designated hitter, no number Rutgers nine, University, Isaiah the Pinky. Nine, Isaiah. Pinky. Pinky. Correction, Pinkney. Pinkney steps in, right-hander batter's box, right ready matchup. Glover comes to the plate. Fastball away, Pinkney swung on and missed for strike one. So two down, Sam Barber on deck. Pitch from Glover. Fastball middle, middle, swung through by Pinkney. And it's 0-2. Cardinals trying to work deeper pitch counts from Glover. Glover comes to the plate, fouled back right side, and we'll do it again on 0-2. Please turn off our possible. Thank you. Glover looks to settle in. Kicks, fires. High fastball fouled back into the screen, and we'll do it again. Glover again, the 0-2. Fastball away, check swing. Caught the corner, it'll be strike three. And the Cardinals will go 1-2-3 again in the second. And Barber will lead off in the bottom half of the third. Still tied up at 0-0 zero. Zero, zero after the second inning. Two up for the Express. It'll be Rodriguez, Chisholm, and then Valeskis. So, stepping in, the shortstop, number 45, Anthony LaSalle. I believe he's up again after the back pick at first. Swung on first pitch, right field, deep to left. That ball hits off the net, and it'll be a stand-up double for LaSalle. And they have, and the Express have their first leadoff hit of the night. 
Stepping in for Morris College, the center fielder, Luis Rodriguez. The Express looking to take advantage of a runner in scoring position with no outs. Traditional baseball you would bunt, but welcome to 2024. I wouldn't expect it. Fastball from Hun. Curveball, excuse me. Middle taken for strike one. And it's 0-1 to Rodriguez. Rodriguez settles in. Hun looks at second, goes to the plate. Fastball, flare, right center. Diving play. Beautiful catch from Delaney Powell in center. Frout number one. LaSala tags, makes it to third. The Cardinals challenge the tag. The appeal does not change anything. He tagged. The umpires discuss briefly. Tag runner safe. Stepping in. And we go to the top of the lineup. And Connor Chisholm comes up to hit. LaSalle at third. Decent lead. Hun goes to the plate. Fastball away. And it's taken for ball one. One and oh for Chisholm. Fastball away from Hunt again. Taken for ball two. Some fans not too happy with the umpire. Hun kicks and fires on the 2 0. Fastball inside. Flared out to left center. Powell is under it. Catch is made for the second out. But LaSala tags again and scores. And the Express have their first run of the night. It's 1 0. The Express, Cardinals 0. Now batting the second baseman, number 46, Diego. Stepping Vasquez. in, the second baseman, number 46, Diego Velasquez from the University of New Orleans. Velasquez steps in. Hun fast, uh, off speed middle. Slider down the middle. Taken for strike one. Hun to the plate again. Swung on, popped up behind second. Mullen, Nick Mullen is under it. Makes the catch and it's out number three. So the Express score on one hit, which led off with a stand up double, followed by two sack flies for their first run of the night. Due up for the Cardinals, it'll be Barber, Mullen, and then...
So leading off for the Cardinals in the bottom half of the third, the hometown kid. Grew up playing his games at B. Crosby from Shenandoah University. Number four, the left fielder, Sam Barber. Lots of love from the crowd here for Barber, as many people watch, watched him play grow up here for the local Skyline High School. So Barber steps in, takes a fastball, swings through it for strike one. Rogers to the plate again. Barber swings and misses at an outside off speed, and it's 0-2. Barber dug into a hole, the 0-2. Rogers outside, small check swing from Barber, and he takes, and it's 1-2. and two. Very quick between pitches. Rogers comes again. Similar pitch, more outside, just in the other batter's box. Barber takes. The quick pitches between at-bats, between pitches, may be a cause for arms to run dry and may be the reason for Glover being pulled early. The 2-2 fouled back behind the plate, and it's 2-2 two and two for Barber. Barber steps in, standing slightly back in the box inside towards the plate. 2-2 two -two from Rogers. Fastball swung through from Barber, strike three, and there's one down in the bottom of the third. Now batting from George Washington Stepping University, in from George the Washington University, University, the second Nick baseman, Mullen. number 18, Nick Mullen. Nick's first step out of the night, steps in for a curveball low and away. Called strike one. fastball and it's 0-2 now to Mullen so back to back batters for the Cardinals leading off third have dug themselves in the 0-2 counts Rodgers comes on the 0-2 swung on and missed first strike three and there's two down here in bottom of the third Stepping in now, the, the nine-hole hitter from the University of North Carolina, Asheville, the center fielder, Delaney Powell. Powell steps in, open stance, back of the box, in the left-handed batter's box. Rogers kicks and deals, taken inside corner for ball one. Decent crowd here tonight. At Bing Crosby Stadium is the opening home game for the Cardinals. Opening game of the season. Fouled back. And it's one and one to Powell. Um, Rogers steps off. Goes to the plate, squares to bunt, fouled off, and it's one and two. Risky play from Powell with two outs trying to square for a bunt, although the first baseman is playing fairly back now because there's two strikes. Pitch again from Rogers outside, and two's run wild, and the count's now two and two with two down. 2-2. Two, two. Rogers inside. Hits Powell in the knee. An absolute gift after he was 0-2. Works the pitch count. Gets hit on the right knee, I believe. And we'll flip the lineup and go back to Ryder Manali.
Pitch inside to Manali. Ball. Gets away from the catcher by a few feet. But Powell remains at first base. And isn't going to risk a delay steal with two down. Manali stepping in left-handed again. It's 1-0. Rogers deals swung on. Foul tipped into the catcher's mitt. For strike one. So it's one and one. Powell has a conservative leave at first base. He probably won't steal. Fastball in again. Powell goes. Slides in. And he's out. High throw from the catcher. Small secondary from Powell as he's thrown out at second base. For the third out of the inning. Two up for the Express, 2-3-4. That'll be Valescas, Garcia, and then Curly. Excuse me, it'll be Garcia, Curly, and then Reisdorf, I believe. So, no runs, no hits, no errors. No errors and a hit by pitch. So stepping in, it'll be Gar number 47, the designated hitter, Garcia, to lead off. First pitch here from Huns in dirt taken. Ball one. Hun to the plate. Outside corner taken. Called strike one. Hun to the plate again. Fouled. Right side. Behind first base. Hemphill had very little room. Couldn't make the catch along the fence. About 50 feet behind first base. And it's one and two to Garcia. So Hun looking to strike off, strike out the leadoff hitter. Hun to the plate. Swung on, strike three for the first out, and they'll throw it around. So Hun with another strikeout. And now stepping in, the right fielder, number 42, Miles Curley. Curley the four hole. First pitch, swung on. Looked like he wanted to check swing. Regardless, swung. Outside corner pitch. For strike one, the 0-1. Pitch from Hun. Taken strike two. This 0 2 Hun getting in a rhythm with many quick pitches. 
got somewhat of a break when the Cardinals went to hit as we got a runner on. Middle infield playing back. Hun to the plate. Fastball outside corner taken for ball one. Corners also playing back because it's a four-hole hitter and you'd expect much power. Hun pitches fastball high, swung on miss for strike three. And there's two down. So Hun strikes out the first two. And it'll be the catcher, Reisdorf, from Texas Corpus Christi. The pitch from Hun fouled to the right. And the count's out one. Hun to the plate. Fouled back towards the first base dugout. Hits the top of the dugout. And Popple and Hemphill will run out of room. Unable to make the play. It's now 0-2. With two down. Hun looking to strike out the side after striking out the first two batters of the inning being Garcia and Curley. Hun kicks and fires. Ground ball, third base. Manali unable to make the play. It scurries behind him. And Reisdorf trips at first base. Regardless, he'll be safe. And Reisdorf reaches. He'll be on first. Number 19, the now batting, Carlo the fourth, who was back picked last inning, steps in. High fastball taken for ball one. Reisdorf over at first. About normal lead, eight feet off. Curveball from Hund fouled back. And it's one and one. Hun only is picked off to first once this inning. Doesn't look at first. Goes to the plate. Fastball middle. And it's one two. So the Cardinals... Scored as an error on that ground ball to third from Manali. This is a tough play to make. Curveball away in the other batter's box. Taken, and the twos run wild as there's two balls, two strikes, and two outs. Hun looks to strike out the side. Hun goes to the plate. Fastball away. Swung on in. Missed strike three. Hun strikes out the side. Give it up. No runs. No hits. One error. And one runner left on for the express.
Rogers still on the mound for the Express. As it'll be his second inning. Pitching. So with a runner thrown out at second, with Powell being thrown out at second, Ryder Manali will come up to the plate again after having a, give or take half a bat last inning. So Manali will step in, leading off the bottom of the fourth. Fastball in, hits him in the knee. And first pitch, the Cardinals will get a free base runner to start off and the third baseman shortstop excuse me the shortstop number seven Jimmy King steps in so Rogers hits two batters in a row as he hit Powell and then Manali Rogers goes to the plate high and in fastball taken for strike one Small lead at first for Manali. Rogers looks over, comes set. Goes to the plate. Fastball grounded back, slow roller towards the mound. Rogers fires over to first, route number one. But Manali goes to second. And the catcher, Brody Popple, comes to the plate with one down. Batting, the catcher, number 12, Brody Popple. Brody steps in, crowded towards the plate. Rogers fires. Brody swings and misses. Updates from around the MLB. Cardinals and Phillies in the bottom of the fifth. Phillies are up 3-1. Pirates and Blue Jays remain scoreless in top of the fourth. Popple squares. Back picks to second. Manali is in there. Counts one and one now after Popple squares with a runner on third. Didn't make contact. And Reisdorf was back, uh, back picks to second. Runner safe. Marlins and Rangers are at 3-0. Marlins are winning. Rodgers comes to the plate. Popple swings and misses for 1-2. Orioles and Rays... In top of the third, Rays are up one nothing. Mets and Diamondbacks in bottom of the second. Mets have five, Diamondbacks have three. Seems to be a high-scoring game. As Rodgers comes set, looks to second, looks to the plate, fires. Taken high and away, and it's two and two. In bottom of the second, Atlanta just scored. It's three nothing, Atlanta against the A's. More updates to come later in the game. Rodgers checks second, checks to the plate. Kicks, fires to the plate. Fouled back, third base side, Popple. And the count remains two and two. As the Cardinals look to get their first hit of the night. Rogers checks Mandali at second. Mandali. Popple, right field, right center. Rodriguez catches. Mandali tags, doesn't go as it's a strong throw from Rodriguez. And there's two down, and Manali remains on second. As the Cardinals have a runner in scoring position and look to score their first run of the night as it's still 1-0 from the Express. Stepping in is Ben Hemphill, the first baseman from UNC Asheville. Hemphill. Steps into the right-handed batter's box. Crowded towards the plate. Seems to be a common theme tonight. Rogers fires for the first pitch. It'll be swung on. And missed. Counts 0-1 now. To Hemphill. Milford is on deck. 
Rogers checks. Dancing around back there. Fires back. Picks off at second. Manali is in safe after dancing around. The second baseman, Vales Valescas, came in, caught it. Throw wasn't quick enough. Manali safe in there. Rogers now comes to the plate. Low and away. Blocked by the catcher at his feet. Throws the third. Over throws third. Manali is safe. He'll remain at third. Cardinals have their first runner at third for tonight. It's Manali with an aggressive secondary and, and delay steal after Reisdorf struggles with the ball towards the plate. It's it's one and one with two outs. Hemphill gets the pitch. Flair into shout right behind second base. LaSala catches it. And the Cardinals fail to score again through four. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and one runner left on. You can support your Cardinals by wearing the colors and logo. The Purple Roll Cardinals merchandise stand is located just inside the main gate and is open throughout this evening's game. The stand features a broad range of shirts, hats, and Cardinal collectibles. So make sure you visit the merchandise stand. And does a baseball game make you hungry for hot dogs, peanuts, and Cracker Jacks? While you're checking out the merchandise, stop by our concession stand. We have a wide variety of food and drinks, so come by and pick up your favorites. Front Royal Cardinals would like to thank Decca for managing our concession stand this year and tonight's volunteers. Returning this year is our beer garden located on the Concord near third base. So stop by and, jump and, and enjoy a frosty adult beverage. And I have a few more winning tickets. Yellow ticket number 007494, that's 007494. And yellow ticket 007425, that's 007425. And pink ticket number 022433, that's 022433. You can pick up your prizes at CNC Frozen Treats. Stepping in for the Express, number six, the third baseman, Drew Simpson. It'll be Simpson, LaSala, and then Rodriguez to lead off the fifth. Hun with a fastball, low and away, taken. Counts 1-0. Hun pitches. Ground ball, third base. Fielded cleanly by Manali. Thrown over to first. Caught. And it will be out number one for the Express. Stepping in is the shortstop, number 45. The shortstop, number 45, Adam LaSala, who led off the fourth with a double off the net, ended up scoring and being the one, only run scored in this game. First pitch he gets, ball in the outside corner and is taken for strike one. And it's so one with one down. So Hun still in the game through the fifth. Fires outside, taking ball one. And it's one ball and one strike. Cardinals looking to hold and then get some runs on the board. Still 1-0. And the Express are winning still. Hun to the plate. Outside corner. Quick frame from Brody. Not close enough taken for 2-1. Simpson looks high and away. Excuse me, LaSala. And it's 3-1. as its hitters count. A 
pitch taken for ball four. And and Lasala gets on, and stepping in is Luis Rodriguez, the center fielder from Morris College. Mound visit here from the Cardinals. Hun still only giving up one hit. We'll see if it's a pitching change or just a mound visit. Coach probably discussing arm durability. Sponsor for tonight is CNC's Frozen Treats. Led by Crazy Willie who threw out the first pitch. Arguably one of the best ice cream shops. There's action in the bullpen from Strasburg. Can't tell who it is. More on that later. So Hund will remain on the mound after getting a pep talk from Coach. And Rodriguez digs in as LaSalle is on first. Consecutive lead. Hun fires just outside. It's 1-0 to Rodriguez. The 1-0 from Christopher Hun. Fastball middle. Called strike one. One ball, one strike now. LaSalle is still on first. About lead you would expect, normal lead. Hun goes to the plate. Large secondary, back pick from Brody. Just safe at first base. LaSalle had a large secondary, big jump. Kind of looked like he wanted to go to second. Ran back to first. Good picked off attempt from Popple. Not in time. And 2 1 to Rodriguez. Taking high fastball at the chest. And it's 3 and 1. Hun throws over to first easy throw, bounces. Knocked down by Hemphill. Had a few people worried. Hemphill keeps it in front of him. Count is still 3-1. and one. Hun goes to the plate. Taking fastball outside. And it'll be ball four. It'll be runners on first and second. Now for the express with one down. Now number 48, Connor Chisholm. And he'll flip the order. The Express will have their leadoff hitter come up to the plate, who had a sack fly for their only run. Chisholm steps in towards the back of the batter's box, righty lefty matchup. Shortstop in towards second, maybe looking for a pickoff from Hund. Pitch from, from Hund. Taking this from fastball for ball one. Popple may be looking to back pick it first again after doing it a few innings ago, although there were two outs. In this situation, there's one. Popple probably playing more conservative on back picks with a runner in front of him. And we have a Pitch clock violation, I believe. Yes, pitch clock violation signaled from the umpire behind the plate. Council 1-0. and oh. 1-0 from Hun. Fastball inside. Popple slides, catches cleanly. And the count's 2-0.
mound visit to Hun. Hun acts somewhat surprised. Probably not expecting his coach to come visit. Potentially discussing pickoff moves, and we have a mound, we have a pitching change for the Cardinals, and that'll do it for Hun. So Hun goes four and a third, four and a third, gives up one hit. Good, good love from the crowd shown for Hun after a good outing, giving up one hit and one run on two sack flies. Updates on the new pitcher coming shortly. So the pitcher is a lefty from Blackhawk College Junior, number 15, Quinn Hoftender, standing at six foot one, 195. So the Cardinals go. So the Cardinals go from a righty to a lefty. Hoftender with a high arm slot. Runners on first and second for Hoftender. Pitch inside. Taken for ball one. Pitched inside to a batter standing inside of the plate. The 3-0 from Hoftender. And it'll be ball four on the inside corner. And the bases are now loaded. Now batting number 46, Diego. Diego. Stepping in is Diego Velescas. the second baseman. Velasquez takes for ball one. The 1-0 from Quinn, fastball away, taken, and it's 2-0. Hoftender fires another outside pitch taken for ball three. Tends to throw towards the left hand of batter's box, his arm side. With a very up and down arm slot. The 3 0 from Hoftender. Outside corner, outside corner again, ball four. And that'll drive in a run for the Express. And it's 2 0 Strasburg. Takes the lead with still one down. Bases are loaded. Third base coach talking. Jeremy Garcia, who struck out swinging his last at bat for Miami Dade Community College. So Garcia will step in. Seen Hoftender for the first time. Hoftender gets his sign, come set. Corners are in. Hoftender, slow pitch, low and away. 
taken for ball one. Hoftender comes to the plate. Pitch outside in the dirt, and it's 2-0. and Hoftender throwing much slower, it appears, than Hun did. May make life easier to hit for the Express. We'll find out as Hoftender throws. Popple jumps up, looks to back pick at first, but doesn't go. Runners remain, and it's 3-0. Hofton are now thrown seven balls in a row. Looking to throw a strike. Throws. Won't get one. It'll be ball four again, and the Express will drive in a run. Can't see the bullpen from the press box, but you can imagine someone's going to head back there. Bullpen catcher just, just went. And a visit from the Cardinals head coach. to settle down Hoftender after walking his first few batters in for two runs. Although on the ERA, since Hund had those runs in, seems to be confusion. A pitcher comes running in from the bullpen, gets waved off from the players. Some confusion. Back to what I was saying, Hoftender... Those runs are inherited, I believe, to Hun. As those runners, he left them on base when Hoftener came in. So he'll gain two more runs. Although when he was on the mound pitching, there was only now batting one run two, he had given up. Stepping in is Miles Curley, number 42, in the right field. Curley struck out swing his last at bat. Pops it up behind first base. The second baseman comes in. Miss confusion. Ball drops. Infield fly is called. Throws to third. Ball's over. Thrown to third base. The runner from second goes home. Runner from first goes all the way to third. Sliding in safe. Absolute chaos and miscommunication. Hemphill seems to have it at first. Called off from Nick Mullen. Mullen comes in. The ball drops in front of him. Confusion from the umpires. Infield fly rule was called, so the batter is out. No one knows, seems to know what's going on. Even the head coach from the Cardinals discussing with the home plate umpire. So the runner from third scored. The runner from second scored on the overthrow to third. And the runner from thir first scored. Ran to second, saw the overthrow, then ran to third, and was in safely. Someone seemed to be running towards third. And the umpires will discuss at the mound what's happening, as no one seems to know, even the umpires. Umpire is still discussing. So, so Reisdorf, who single last at bat, that'll be an infield fly. I don't know if the Cardinals are challenging. So one out, one out is posted on the scoreboard. If the infield fly was called, there would then be two. So the Express, as of now, have three runs. Umpire discussion is over. The home plate ump's going to talk to the Express, I believe, manager, at least one of their coaches.
while we have a break, let's discuss some NBA. Maybe there's some NBA fans out there. In the finals, the Mavericks swept the Timberwolves. Excuse me. The Timberwolves won one game. So the Mavericks won in five. Mavericks being the five seed making it to the finals, and they will be playing the Celtics, who are the number one seed. The Celtics in the Eastern Conference Finals swept their opponent. Still discussion. People getting restless. Hoftender now starting to throw to try to keep his arm warm. The, the batter is out. He appears to have called somebody else out. One runner scored. So the inning is over. It's a double play. I don't know which runners were called out. So one runner scored. And that'll do it for the top of the fifth. Mark, you ready? All right, what is your wedding anniversary? <laughs> September 15th. Of what year? 18. That is correct. All right, the second question is when is your wife's birthday? October 5th. That is correct. <laughs> All right, and what is your favorite trip that you've been on together, or her favorite trip that you've been on together, and where was it to? Destin, Florida. That is correct. So they are going to win strawberries from Petty Betty Treats. Congratulations, guys. So on the infield fly, the runners advanced at their own risk. Interference was called on the runner on first, interfering with the first baseman. And he was the runner that went to third. So the runner was called out. The batter was called out along with the runner on first. So the score is 3-1, three to 3-0, three to the expressor winning. Glad we got that squared away. And the pitch for the Express from the University of Pittsburgh, number 35, Gavin Lill. Pitching, pitching change for the Express from the University of Pittsburgh, number 26, Will Hummel. Excuse me, number 35, Gavin Lill. So Gavin Lill. Gavin Lill Jr. from Westchester, Pennsylvania. So now stepping in from the University of Georgia, the right fielder, Cooper Milford. Milford flew out to first his last at-bat. Another correction on the score. The Express have four runs. The Cardinals have none. Milford, first pitch inside, taken for ball one.
Milford takes another pitch. Strike one. The count's one and one. Lil comes to the plate, taken, and it'll be one and two. Milford with a righty righty matchup. Low comes to the plate. Drop, strike three. Throws to first. And it's strike three. Now stepping in, the designated hitter, number nine, Isaiah Pinkney. Pinkney struck out swinging his last at bat. Good throw from the catcher, Reisdorf. And there's one down. Lil comes to the plate, taking fastball up. And it's 1 0. Off speed pitch, caught the outside corner. Pinkney takes, and it's now 1 and 2. Lil gets his sign. Comes set. Kicks, fires. Swung on for strike two. And it's one and two to Pinkney after chasing a ball low and away. Lil to the plate. Pinkney popped up. Shallow right. Velescos makes the catch for out number two. Now batting the left fielder, number four, Sam Lugabill Barber. Stepping in now from Shendo University, Sam Barber, the hometown kid. Sam struck out his first at bat, looking to have his first hit here as a collegiate athlete, as he had many throughout high school. Sam gets a fastball inside. Takes, and it's 1-0. and The pitch. Barber swings and misses, and it's 1-1. One and one. Another score correction. I apologize. The scoreboard says 4. We've just received word that it's 3-0. Barber grounds, rolls foul down the third base line, and it's one and two. So the score is three nothing the Express. Please disregard the scoreboard at the time. We're having difficulties. Barber will step in. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Looking, and I believe the Cardinals remain hitless here in the bottom of the fifth. Barber fouls it back. The count remains one and two. Barber, ground ball, right side, Valescas Fields throws over to first to end the fifth inning. So Barber makes contact and is fielded cleanly at, at second base. And Barber's thrown out by a few feet. Do you want to be a part of the Cardinal action? The Cardinals are always looking for host families, a rewarding opportunity to help an aspiring baseball player reach his goal of playing professional baseball. Host families provide a place to stay for players from around the country. Thank you to all our host families who make this opportunity possible. If you would like more information about hosting a front row Cardinal baseball player, please visit the merchandise stand to get more information. 
We also need game day volunteers in many areas, including the concession stand and merchandise stand. These are great opportunities for families or groups. So please see one of our staff for more information to sign up. I have two more winning tickets. First yellow ticket. 007632, that's 007632. And pink ticket, 118991, that's 118991. You can pick up your prizes at CNC Frozen Tree. So leading off now the inning for the Express, in the for the the Express six, number 20, Kent, six, Reisdorf. number 20, James Reisdorf. So it'll be Reisdorf's first at bat facing Weatherford, so it's a favorable righty lefty matchup. Swings and misses on an outside pitch for strike one. The scoreboard is now off. Slow pitch taken, and it's two and one. Now, quick pitch from Weatherford. Taken strike two. And the count is two and two for Reisdorf. Reisdorf hits. Base hit to left field. Go round first and lead off the inning with a single. His second single of the night. Now batting number 19, Randy Carlo the 4th. So stepping in number 19, Randy Carlo the 4th takes a pitch for strike one. Updates from around Valley League Baseball. In the bottom of the 6th, the New Market Rebels are winning 3-1 to one against the Woodstock River Bandits. Weatherford looks to towards first. Comes to the plate. Bounces. Popel keeps it in front of him. And Reisdorf remains at first. In the top of the fifth, the Winchester Royals are beating the Percival Cannons 3-2. to two. The Cardinals go to Winchester tomorrow at 5 o'clock. Weatherford pitches, ground ball, shortstop, fielded second for one to first for two. Double play, 6-4-3 for the Cardinals. And they'll be two down. Quickly empty the bases. First double play. For the middle infield duo, King and Mullen. Stepping in now is Drew Simpson. Simpson grounded to short earlier tonight. As Simpson takes strike one, Weatherford throws again. Liner to shallow right, it'll drop in. Simpson reaches for space. And another single. And the shortstop, LaSala, will step in. The Covington Lumberjacks and Culpeper Cavaliers game was postponed. Stepping in is 45, LaSala. Charlottesville Tomcats, or Tom Sox, are winning 1 0 against the Braves as it's 1 0 now to LaSala. And the Waynesboro Gen Generals in the bottom of the third are winning 3-1 against the Harrisonburg Turks. Hoftender throws on the outside corner taken. And it's 2-0. Hoftender to the plate. High and away. Taken. Counts 3-0. Simpson small lead at first with a left-handed pitcher. Hoftender throws. Taken for strike one. Counts three and one with two down. Score still 3 0 the Express. The pitch. Somewhat of an Ephus. Drops in. And the count runs full. Full count, two, and out, two outs. Simpson will go, be going on the pitch. Hoftender throws over to first to keep him honest.
Off center steps off. Umpires will keep note of the step off count. The payoff pitch. Fouled off. Left side. And LaSalle will dig in for another full count pitch. Weather still holding up at Bing Crosby Stadium as it's 68 as the sun starts to set. Payoff pitch again in the dirt. Taken. Simpson ran on the pitch, but it didn't matter as it was a walk. It's first and second with two down. And Lewis Rodriguez now batting number 11, steps in. Lewis Rodriguez. The center fielder. Senior. Hoftender comes set, check second, goes to the plate, popped up, infield. Mullins is under and makes the catch for the third out. So a double play for the first two outs, followed by a single and a walk. Ends with a pop up to Mullen. The Cardinals baseball camp is designed to help the aspiring. And do up for the Cardinals will be Cooper Milford, of baseball and a fun and Pinkney and Barber, I believe. And by the front row Cardinals baseball players and staff, individual and team drills are incorporated into daily activities as well as game competitions. Your camper will receive high quality daily instruction from top level college players mixed with fun, games, and laughter. This year's fundamental camp will be held June 17th through the 20th. And pitchers and catchers camp will be held June 24th through the 26th. There's still time to sign up. So get your registration form at the concession or merchandise stand just inside the main gate. Leading off for the Cardinals, the second baseman, Nick Mullen, as Barber made the last out as he grounded out to second to end the previous inning. First pitch taken for ball one. Mullen takes for strike one. As Lil is in for his, I believe, second inning of the night. Righty ready matchup for Mullen. Mullen swings inside pitch, and it's one and two to Mullen. So the Express have three runs on three hits tonight. Pitch swung on and and missed low and away, strike three, and it's out number one. So Mullen strikes out. Stepping in number three, Delaney Powell. Powell, the center fielder. In the left-handed batter's box. Open stance back in the box. Swings for strike one. Powell's a sophomore from UNC Asheville. Ben Hemphill, the first baseman also from UNC Asheville. Powell takes 
and it's one and one. Lil comes set, goes to the plate, taken inside for ball two. Powell being the nine hole hitter. Infield playing roughly normal depth, shortstop in a couple feet. Pitch taken just a bit outside for ball three. Three and one for Powell. Top of the lineup, Ryder Manali on deck. Another left hander. Lil to the plate. Fastball middle taken. And it's now a full count. Full count one out here for Powell. Takes just off the plate. Great take. And it's ball four. So Powell flips the lineup from an alley. Powell was hit by pitch earlier than once. Stepping in number 11. The shortstop, Ryder Manali, who was also hit earlier after Powell. Powell, small lead at first. Pitch from Lil. Taken at the top of the zone. Ball one. The pitch swung through from an alley. One ball, one strike. Powell still leaning on first. Low fires, upper part of the zone. Swung on and missed. And it's one and two. The pitch. Runner goes. Called ball. Powell steals. Pitch was bobbled from Reisdorf. In safely is Powell for a stolen base at second. So, pitch was called a ball. Two balls, two strikes, one out. Powell run, runner on second. Lil checks at Powell. Goes to the plate. Swung on, fouled towards the on-deck batter on the first base side. If you follow from last year, the home and away dugouts have been switched due to air conditioner issues in one of the dugouts. So the Cardinals are on the first base side this year for their home dugout at Bing Crosby. Little fires. Off speed was taken towards the t upper part of the zone for ball, and the count runs full. Taken for ball four. Manali draws a walk. It'll be first and second for Jimmy King, the shortstop who Nine, reached seven, on a fielder's King. choice. King. So one down, we have a mound visit for the Express. More updates from around Major League Baseball. After the seventh inning, the Phillies, largely known as arguably the hottest team in baseball, are up 4-2 to two against St. Louis. Pittsburgh's up 1-0 after Skeens day before yesterday threw for his second win on his 22nd birthday through a gem. The Washington Nationals down 2-0 in the bottom of the sixth to Cleveland. Boston winning 5-1 against Detroit in the top of the sixth. Miami up 4-2 against the Rangers also in the top of the sixth. So Brody Popple 
excuse me, King, King is in. Pitch taken in the dirt for ball one. Runners remain at first and second. Pitch from Lil. King ducks. Takes and it's 2-0. and oh. The, yes, Marlins beating Rangers 4-2. to two. Braves winning 3-1 to run, one as King takes a pitch on the outside corner. And it's 3-0. and oh. Braves looking to keep their spirits up after star player Ronald Acuna Jr. tore his ACL and is ruled out for the season. Similar to this 20-21 year where he also tore his ACL. Low throws. Ball gets away. Both runners advance safely. Excuse me. This ball four. Runners advance automatically. Crowd is fired up, and the Cardinals have loaded the bases for the first time tonight. We'll see if Little remains in the game, or we'll put the bullpen in a tough spot. Now batting fan favorite, the catcher, Brody Popple, who flew out to center last at bat. So one down. Base is loaded. Popple looking to put the Cardinals on the board. Lil deals for the first pitch. Low and in. Went on the swing as the pitch was in the dirt. And it's strike one. Back to the MLB in the top half of the fifth. The Mets are up 8-4 to four against the Diamondbacks. Top of the third, Houston and Minnesota remain scoreless. Bottom second as more games have started since the last update. Game also remains scoreless. Little fires in. For strike two to Popple. On a tough, tough pitch. Counts 0-2. Popple looking to drive in a run. The pitch. Swung on. Ground ball right side of the infield. Runner on first dodges. First run scores, second run. Gets the stop sign at third. Back picked at third. He's safe. Runners go station to station and the Cardinals have their first run of the night. From, a, from first RBI from fan favorite and returning Cardinal Brody Popple. Now I'm batting number 10, Ben Hemphill. Ben Hemphill, the first baseman who flew out to shortstop last at bat steps in. For a righty righty matchup. Little fires. Foul tipped into the glove of Reisdorf. Counts so and one. Finishing off MLB scores. White Sox down one nothing to the Brewers in the bottom half of the second. Pitch from Lil swung on. Missed outside corner. 0-2 oh, now to Hemphill. Milford on deck. Kicks and fires. Swinging strike three. Two down. Bases loaded. Still. And the right fielder from the University of Georgia, Cooper Milford, digs in. Milford. Looking to drive in more runs. Milford struck out his last at bat. Looks to get a, a hit. Milford, ground ball left side of the infield. Fielded by the third baseman, Simpson. Fires to second. Velasquez covers. That's the third out. So, one run off one hit. No errors. And three runners left on for the Cardinals. After six.
Alright everybody, let's go! Get those hands up, let's go y'all! Come on baseball fans! Stepping in for the Express, Connor Chisholm, who leads off the inning, takes for ball one. Weatherford still on the mound, throws for ball two. Seems to have, seems to have gas left in the tank, throws inside. Chisholm turns his shoulder, takes a high inside pitch. 3-0. And ball four for Weatherford as Chisholm draws back-to-back -back walks. Now batting number 46, Diego Vasquez. Stepping in the second baseman, Diego Velasquez. Who I believe walked last time at. And that'll do it for Weatherford. After, I believe, three innings. That'll be the night for him. We'll see who comes in from the bullpen. And we'll be back with you shortly. So the Cardinals, after throwing a right-hander and a left-hander, go back to a right-hander from Trinity College, number 25, Thomas Fahey, standing in at six feet tall, 205 pounds. Very different arm slot from the last pitcher. Somewhat of a three-quarter release. Digs in. The Cardinals... Next few games, they will go to Winchester tomorrow. All Winchester games in Winchester will be at 5 o'clock as their lights no longer work. All Cardinals games will be at 7. Then the Cardinals go play at home Sunday against Percival. Monday's off for next week. Host the New Market Rebels. Then go to Woodstock Wednesday to Strasburg on Thursday. Then host... Winchester next Friday, June 7th, and then the 8th will go to Percival to round up the week. So Jacob still in, takes. Fly ball to right. Milford misjudges the ball, probably lost it in the lights. Drops at the warning track. And it'll be, it'll be a single off of an error 
So there'll be runners on first and second with no outs. Now batting number 47, Jeremy Garcia. So stepping in is Jeremy Garcia. So Chisholm will be at second. Diego Velasquez at first. Garcia gets the pitch. Takes a fastball for a ball. Visit from the catcher. The ump runs out to join him. Quick visit from the catcher, probably discussing signs. Seems to have everything squared away with Fahey as he's a new pitcher. Having limited time to pra practice after reporting from college. Runners go early, double steal with no outs. Runners hurry back, fly ball to right. Caught by Powell in center. And the aggressive double steal doesn't pay off. Faye didn't even make a motion, didn't even pick up his leg. Both runners, Chisholm had left very early. Velasquez soon after, both put on the brakes. Miles Curley steps in, who struck out and walked today. Chisholm dancing around at second to the plate is Fahey. Slider away. Swinging strike one. So it's three to one. The Express are winning with one out. Off speed inside. Curly takes us one and one. Double steal again. Fastball low and away. Powell holds the throw. So the Express double steal again. So no force play available. No double play available, more importantly. Two runners in scoring position with one out. Infield comes in. Corners and middle infield. Toes on the grass. Counts 31. Fahey comes set. Fires. Heater middle swung through from Curley. Count runs full. Runner on third. Conservative lead with the right-handed pitcher. Knows he can be seen well. Outfield shift slightly to the right. Fastball away. Caught the outside corner. Called strike three. Curley thought it was a ball. Isn't happy with it. Started walking the first, then gets rung up. So it'll be two down. Fahey looks to get out now batting up top of the seven. Reisdorf. So Reisdorf comes, has two singles on the day. Looking to retire this side. Thomas Fahey. Kick steals, fastball away. Strike one. Bit of an adjustment from Weatherford, who was a left-handed, slower pitcher than, than Fahey. Fahey, a right-handed. Good arm. Popped up. Shallow center. Powell comes in. Makes the catch. Hold the, the express scoreless in top half of the seventh. After a double steal, a failed double steal attempt, then a successful double steal, getting a strikeout and a pop-up. So it'll be no runs on no hits, no errors, two runners left on. 
as you take a break for the seventh inning stretch. So Pingney will lead off bottom half of the seventh after the seventh inning stretch. DHing has struck out and popped up to second on the day. Pingney takes ball one. Takes again for a fastball away ball two. Fastball outside corner. Taken and the counts two and one. The pitch, ground ball left side, F goes foul. Two and two. Quick shout out to my cameraman, Don. He's done a great job on the night for his first appearance up in the booth. Count runs full on a pitch low and away, although it's also my first night in the booth. Quick confession. The payoff. Ground ball, left side. Fielded, Simpson fires over to first and gets the out. So Lil retires his first batter. So Barber will be pinch hit for. By number 16. Now from Cameron Western Carolina Murray number from Western Carolina Cameron University. Murray. Murray takes for strike one. Ground pitch for a fastball. Goes about 58 feet, bounces shy of the plate. One and one to Murray. Takes for ball two. Yes. 
fastball low and away. Murray swings and misses. Murray takes an off-speed low and away. Count runs full. With one out. Lil fires. Check swing. Appeal to the up at first. Um says he went. Strike three. And it'll be two down. After a check swing. Check swing strike three. For Murray on his first at bat of the night. Now batting number 18. Nick. Mullen. Nick Mullen with two strikeouts on the night. Comes up again. Will not be pinch hit for. Take strike one. Little kicks, fires. Off speed. Down the middle. So no balls, two strikes, two outs. Express, you're still winning 3-1. to one. Little looks to strike out the side. Fires. Popped up. Not playable. Counts still 0-2. 0-2. Taken. Bounces in the left-handed batter's box. Counts now 1-2. and two. Pitch taken. Two's run wild. Two balls. Two strikes. Two outs. Ground ball to short. LaSalle of Fields fires over to first for the third out. So no runs, no hits, no errors, no runners left on. Batting for the Express in the top half of the eighth, number 19, Randy. Off the for the Express, Randy Carwell the fourth, who grounded into a double play. His last at bat, he'll take strike one. Faye deals. Popped up, right side, foul territory. And Phil barely has enough room, bobbles it twice, catches it after it bobbles off his glove and I believe his head. So he'll record very un unorthodox out. Now batting number six, 
Drew Simpson. Drew Simpson will step in, who grounded out to short and had a single earlier in the night. Takes his first pitch. Misses the top of the zone. For ball one. Faye kicks the 1 0. Off speed taken for strike one. So Cardinals looking to hold the Express, being down by two. Score still 3 to 1. Express are winning with one down. Faye he goes, taken. High and away for a ball. Faye throws fastball in. Counts three and one. Hitters count now for the batter, Carlo, the fourth. Pitch. Taken outside corner for ball four. So Carlo, the fourth, reaches. No, excuse me. Simpson reaches. And LaSala, Anthony LaSala, the shortstop, comes up to the plate, who walked his last at bat. Simpson leaning on first, normal depth of a lead. LaSala swings, fouled off, first base side. Counts on one now. With one down, with one down, Cardinals. Looking to get a double play to end the top half of the eighth. Faye throws, taken up. Popple stares down the runner at first, doesn't throw after a high pitch. One ball, one strike, one out. Express have four hits. Powell signaling to the outfield to shift to their left, our right. Faye throws fouled back into the wall for one ball, two strikes. So Powell shifts to the right of the batter's eye in center. Milford slowly shifting. And the new left fielder shifts. Fires. Small check swing didn't go on a high fastball. Counts two balls and two strikes. No appeal from Popple to the first base umpire. So Fahey looks over to first. Comes set. Goes. Swung through. Foul tip. Caught. Strike three. And there's two down. And Rodriguez comes to the plate. The center fielder. Now batting number 11, Lewis Rodriguez. Faye, Faye throws very high and into Rodriguez as he stumbles back. Not hit. Counts 1 and 0 with two outs. Simpson takes a conservative leave at first base. Faye gets his sign. Goes. Swung through on a high end pitch. Foul tipped and caught by Popple. And the count is 1 and 1. The 1-1. One, one. Outside corner. Misses the plate. And it's 2-1. and one. Off speed. Doesn't drop into the zone from Fahey. It's 3-1. 
Sun's fully gone down. We're under the lights here in Front Royal with clear skies and 61. Good, cool evening for baseball. Faye goes. Low and away. Caught the corner. Cal runs full. Three balls, two strikes, two outs. Simpson will be running on the pitch. Faye gets his sign. Looks over to first. Looks to the plate. Comes set. And the payoff. Taken. Runner went. Didn't matter. Ball four. So it'll be runners on first and second. And we'll come to the top of the order. Chisholm has two runners on. And a favorable righty-lefty matchup. Chisholm from the University of Mississippi comes in after being walked twice his last two at-bats. Second baseman playing far back. Shortstop trying to hold Simpson on. Fay he goes. Liner, left side. They're going to wave Simpson home. Field by left fielder. Throw home. Cut off. No play at the plate. And the Express score another run on their fifth hit of the night. So it's now 4-1 Express. And they get some insurance here no, in the top of the ninth. Diego and from University of New Orleans, second baseman. Diego Velasquez comes in. Excuse me, it's the top of the ninth. Eighth. My apologies, Faye. He throws high fastball. Takes for ball one. High and in fastball. Taking it's 2-0. and Hitters count with two down. Here in the top of the eighth. Outfield shifted slightly to the right, even though it's a right-handed batter, but with a righty-ready matchup. You can understand. Double steal. Both runners go. Popple bobbles the transfer. Ball slips behind him. Both runners are safe. No play. On a ball, it's now 3-0. With two runners in scoring position. Now a walk wouldn't be the worst thing as there's an open base with two down. Faye taking his time. Runner on second will be not really held on. Same with the runner on third. Faye throws fastball middle, middle. Velasquez didn't didn't look interested in swinging at all. Takes. Counts now three and one. Faye comes to the plate again. Fastball away. Ball four just misses the corner. The bases will now be loaded for Garcia, who struck out and flown out to center. Last two at bats. So Jeremy Garcia, junior from Miami-Dade College, comes up. But we have a mound visit for the Cardinals. Looks like we have pitching change. That'll do it for Thomas Fahey as the Cardinals bring in their fourth pitcher of the night. Good round of applause as Fahey, I believe, gave up one run through three.
Jessica University. Number 27, Dominic Parker McDowell. So the new pitcher for the Cardinals is a senior from Wheeling Jesuit University, standing 6'3", 230, a right-hander from West Virginia, will inherit three base runners, but with two down. Now Jeremy Garcia steps in, struck out, flew out to center. With the bases loaded, infielder has a normal depth with two outs. McDonald's first pitch drops in for a strike. McDonald goes. Outside corner, swinging, and it's 0-2 now. McDonald looks to get out of the jam in which he inherited. No balls, two strikes, two outs. Scores four to one. Expresser winning. McDonald gets his look. Checks to the plate, goes to the plate. Off speed away. Taken counts one and two now. McDonald comes set, goes, swinging, ground ball. Third base side, it'll bounce foul. Count still one and two. McDonald goes, high. Taken. Two's run wild. Two balls, two strikes. Two outs. Garcia crowding the plate for a righty righty matchup. McDonald goes. Low and away. Slow roller. Left side of the infield. King can't field it cleanly. Run scores. The runners move station to station. It's now 5-1. They'll score an error on Jimmy King at short. Now batting His first Miles error. Curley. Now batting the right fielder, Miles Curley. Miles is 0-2 with a walk. McDonald throws. Ground ball, left side of the infield again. Tries to pick it. Shortstop fielded King can't get it over in time. Another run scores. So Ryder Manali charged it, tried to pick it. Ball snug under his glove. King backed him up, fielded it cleanly, just couldn't get the throw over in time. Curly ran hard. Made it there. Another run scores. Caden Reisdorf comes to the plate. It's now 6-1, the Express. Base is still loaded. Infield normal depth. McDonald first pitch. Check swing. Home plate dump says he went. Strike one.
the pitch. Line drive, left field. Doesn't drop in fair, goes foul. Be no balls, two strikes, two outs. Game time has been going on for two hours and 20 minutes. Somewhat of a quick game through. Seven and a half. Liner to shallow center. Ball drops. One run comes in to score. They wave in the second. No play at the plate. Throw from center. Throw from Powell is cut off. Two more runs will score. And it's eight to one the Express. So McDonald inherits... Base is loaded from Fahey, so I believe Fahey will get three runs assigned to him. So it's now runners on first and second. Carl the fourth comes up to hit. He flew out to first. His last at bat. McDonald goes. Fahey, somewhat of a small check swing. Takes for a ball out, and it's 1-0. So Reisdorf with three singles on the night. Pitch blown away. Both runners go. Brody goes backside. Both runners are safe on a pitch in the dirt. Popple kept it in front of him. Couldn't transfer it in time. So the Express being very aggressive. Multiple double steals have come out swinging and have scored five runs in the top of the eighth inning alone. Second and third for Carla Pitch, low and away. Taken. Count is now 3-0. and You can imagine a walk would not be terrible with an open base and two outs. As McDonald goes to the plate. Taken for a ball four. We'll load the bases with two down. Simpson, who has a ground out to short and a single. Now batting the, six, the third base Simpson. third baseman. Drew Simpson steps into the right handed batter's box for a righty ready matchup. His first time seeing McDonald. McDonald goes to the plate, loan away, taken for a ball. Second pitch taken for a ball. We don't know if there's action down in the Cardinals' bullpen as the locker room blocks it from the angle we have on the right side of the press box. McDonald to the plate, fouled off to the right side towards the first base dugout. Count is 2-1. and one. The pitch. Low and away for a ball, 3-1. You can imagine a walk would not be ideal for McDonald as he hasn't walked in a run tonight, but has given up a few. Taken, ball four, walks in a run. Express get another one. Bases remain loaded. It's now 9-1, to one, the Express. And a mound visit to no one's surprise from the Cardinals manager.
Now batting number 45, Anthony LaSala. So the shortstop, Anthony LaSala, comes to the plate with two down and the bases loaded. His first time seeing McDonald, and the first pitch he sees from McDonald takes for ball one. To the Express have nine runs on seven hits, no errors. A strike from McDonald on the outside corner. The 1-1 one, one now to La Sala. Takes Lone away for a ball. Now 2-1. Takes. Bobble keeps it in front of him. Runner comes to the plate. Bobble can't get the ball. Runner from second to third being held up. Popple doesn't throw it behind the runner. Runner goes back in safely after being held up between second and third. So Bob Popple goes for the block, bounces away from him to his left. A run will come in. It's 10-1. So, first and second, scores 10-1 the Express. Two balls, one strike, two outs. McDonald. Inside. Hit LaSala. Runners will advance. And the bases are loaded again. Now batting number 11, Luis Rodriguez. Rodriguez, the center fielder for Morris College. He walked his last at-bat. Sees his first pitch, bounces. Popple keeps it in front of him, lost it. But runners will hold up. So the Cardinals on their fourth pitcher tonight. Look to hopefully not use too many as they have games. Tomorrow, the next day, and they have Monday off and go back at it again for six straight days. McDonald goes. Liner left side. Foul. It's one and one. Broken bat. As it probably hit him inside towards the hands. He'll get a new bat, of course. Hoping to get out the nine hole to not face the top part of the order. There's a ball low and away. Two balls and a strike for Rodriguez. Takes away, counts three and one. The pitch from McDonald. Ball four, walks in another run. It's 11-1. Score 11 won the Express on seven hits. And the Cardinals have two errors. Mound visit from the manager, and that'll be the night for McDonald. So McDonald comes in, gives up around, you take eight or nine innings. And we'll give an update on the new pitch here shortly.
So the Cardinals bring in Ryan Sellers, a sophomore from Virginia Wise. He's from Richmond, Virginia. Sellers will face the top half of the order. Top top of the lineup, excuse me, and uh, Chisholm, the left fielder, who has a sack fly and walked twice. Takes ball one. Count one and oh. Sellers fires. Lowing in. Pitch in. Slider inside. Check swing. Appeal to the ump behind the mound. Says he didn't go. Three balls, no strikes, two outs. Runners on first and second for the Express. The score is 11-1. Excuse me. Bases are loaded for the Express. <sighs> Fires. Strike one. Sellers gets his first strike on Chisholm. And it's 3-1. Long pause from Sellers, and then he fires. For ball four, Sellers will walk in a run. It's now 12 won the Express. Runners move station to station on a walk. So Diego Velasquez comes in, steps to the plate, the second baseman. Has walked, reached on an air. Takes ball one and walked his last time up. Two at bats ago, it was Velasquez that flew to right. Milford lost it in the lights and dropped at the warning track. Low and away slider from Sellers for ball two. Sellers to the plate. Velasquez swings through it. Two balls and one strike. Mesa's loaded. Runners take a fairly normal lead. Sellers kicks to the plate. Ball bounces short in front of the plate. And it's 3-1. The Express get two more runs on two walks. It's 12 to 1. Take in for ball four on the outside corner. Doesn't catch the outside part of the plate. And another run comes in. It's 13 to 1. Updates from around the MLB as many games have finished. A few. The Reds beat the Cardinals 5 to 4. Now batting number 47, Jeremy Garcia. Excuse me. As Jeremy Garcia steps in, who reached on an error to short. His last step at. Fly ball to deep center. Powell is back. Ball is gone. Grand slam from the Express. Garcia will touch them all. Number 47. And it's. Jeremy. 17-1 to 1 as Jeremy Garcia goes yard for the first homer of the season for the Express. So Express have 17 runs, have scored 
14 runs and have blown it open here in the eighth inning on three pitchers. Now batting number 42, Miles Curley. Now batting number 42, Miles Curley. Curley swings through the first pitch. So, metrics here at Bing Crosby, it's 309 to left, 309 to right, and then 340 in center with a nice high net. So ball traveled a good distance. Curly th swings through. It's one and one. The Reds beat the Cubs, excuse me, not the Cardinals, five to four. Cardinals lost to the Phillies, four to two. Orioles are in top of the eights. It's three to one against the Rays. Sellers throws low and away. It's with one ball now, two strikes and two outs. Pirates and Blue Jays will go into extras after nine. Sellers fires low and away. Excuse me, it was not one and two. It was two and one. Now it's two and two. Two's run wild with two balls, two strikes, and two outs. Marlins beat the Rangers 8-2. Guardians won 7-1 against the Nationals. Sellers throws a slider away, and it's full. Top of the ninth, Red Sox are beating the Tigers 7-3. Mets are beating the Dimebacks 10-5 in top of the eighth. Braves beat the Athletics 4-2. Middle of the fifth, Brewers are down to the White Sox 4-5. Sellers fires. Middle strike three to retire the side after a long 14-run inning for the Express as it's now 17-1. Going into the bottom of the eighth. Ladies and gentlemen, if you could please take out your uh, white tickets, we're going to do a <laughs> drawing. Uh, all right, right through here, he's going to pick the ticket. And the winner is 8 9 9 1 2 5. Again, 8 9 9 1 2 5. We just won $270. Please go to the merchandise table by the front to claim. Thank you. The front row of Cardinals would like to thank our 2024 sponsors, American Legion, Veterans of Foreign War, Card by Yard, Concerned Hotline, East Mountain Fitness, Front row of Warren County Chamber of Commerce, Green to Brown, Honey and Hops, Knights of Columbus and Christendom College, Midway Service Center, Radco Foundation, Penny Betty Treats, Postal Business Center, Rotary Club of the Front Row of Warren County, Royal Examiner, Shenandoah Axe Warren Company, State Farm, Sun Stoppers, Town of Front Royal, Warren County Decca, Wild Booking, and tonight's sponsor, CNC Frozen Treats. A new pitcher for the Express, Will Hummel from the University of Pittsburgh. Hummel right hand throws high and away for his first pitch. And it's a ball. 
number three, Delaney Powell. So the nine hole hitter, Delaney Powell, steps in. The center fielder as he swings for his first strike. The pitch from home. Fastball middle. Strike two. Righty lefty matchup here. Home being right handed. Throws in. Swung on and miss on an outside fastball. And it's out number and there's out number one. Now and we'll go to the top of the order. Of the Holy Cross, number eight, Van Excuse me, Van Coughlin, a catcher from Holy Cross, a sophomore, steps in to hit. Take strike one. Takes, takes the next pitch, and it's 0-2. And, the 0-2 now to Coughlin. Just a bit outside. For ball one, counts now 1-2 and two with one out. Score. 17 to 1. The Express having 17 on 8 hits and 2 errors. Hummel deals. Hits Coughlin on the inside shoulder. And the Cardinals will have a runner on here on a hit by pitch in the bottom half of the 8th. Now batting number 7, Jimmy King. Stepping in as a shortstop. Also from Holy Cross. Number seven, Jimmy King. Who reached early on a fielder's choice, among other things. Check swing in towards his hands. It's a pass ball. Coughlin will move to second. For ball one. No appeal over to the first base umpire. Defense playing fairly straight up. Corners are back. The pitch outside corner taken, and it's 2-0. Hummel comes set, looks at Coughlin, goes to the plate. Count moves now to 3 and 0. Hummel goes middle part of the plate. Called for strike 1. Hummel kicks, deals, it's high, ball four. So runners on first and second for Brody. With one down. Popple fouls it all. Foul back.
Brady seen Hummel for the first time. Second pitch. Swung on and missed. It's 0-2. Popple has flown out to center, also with an RBI single. Takes a pitch, up, misses. This one and two. Hummel throws, swung on and missed, strike three. So Popple goes down for the second out. Now batting number 10, Ben Hemphill. So stepping in now for the Cardinals, number 10, Ben Hemphill from UNC Asheville. Hemphill takes pass ball. Pitch was middle taken for a ball. Runners on first and second. Station to station. There'll be now runners in scoring position being on second and third. So it's 1-0. Looking to be miscommunication maybe between the pitcher and catcher on the previous pitch. Hemphill takes fastball. Catches the plate for strike one. The one one the handful. Fastball in. Misses the plate. Barely misses Hemphill as he somewhat dodges the pitch. Two balls, one strike. Two outs. Fires in. The pitch for strike two. And two's run wild. The 2-2 two -two from Hummel. Taken away for ball three. And the count runs full. Hemphill comes set, goes to the plate, swung on, slow hit, left side of the infield cut off by Simpson. He'll fire over and that'll do it for the eighth. And that's your ball game. The final score, Strasburg 17, Front Royal 1. So the game will end on a run rule, 17-1. And the Cardinals drop their home opener. Express have... At 17 hits, 17 runs, excuse me, on eight hits, two errors, on two errors from the Cardinals. The Cardinals scored one run on one hit and had two errors. Thank you so much for listening in to the stream. Good night. I'm, I'm Roland Sternfels. Shout out to my brother Donald. So Cardinals' next home game. Will be Sunday as they go to Winchester for five o'clock on Saturday. They will play Sunday versus the Cannons here at Bing Crosby at seven o'clock. Thank you so much for joining us.